In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is giving you guys a mini masterclass on exactly how you can start eBay dropshipping as a beginner. And if you're new to my channel and you've never seen my face before and you're thinking, why should I listen to this guy? Well, welcome. My name is Sam. And on this channel, I've made over 400 different videos breaking down various different tips and tricks that you need to know when it comes to making money online. But most importantly, over the past few years, I've managed to build various different eBay stores. Like, as you can see from this one right here, I managed to make over £81,000 in a few months, which is around $90,000. So you're definitely going to learn a thing or two that's going to help you out on your own eBay dropshipping journey. So as always, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into it. If you find any value in this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Let's jump straight into the video. All right. So one of the first things that you need to obviously do is that you need to sign up for an eBay account. Now, to be very honest with you, it's going to be a lot better if you've already got one because eBay don't necessarily like it when you sign up on day one and you try and start dropshipping straight away. So if you've already got an existing eBay account, it's going to be a little bit better when it comes to doing the rest of the three steps that I'm going to go through in this video. But if you don't already have an eBay account, all you need to do is go onto the eBay website, go to register at the top right here. And then from this point, you're just going to sign up for an account. Very straightforward, very simple. But the key things that you need to remember when you are signing up for an eBay account, just make sure that you put the correct details because eBay is going to validate this. And if you don't put the correct details, they may end up banning you. And once you get banned, it's going to be hard for you to open up another eBay account. The next step is that you need to find a winning product. Now there's a certain step-by-step -step strategy that I personally go through when it comes to knowing which item is the best one to sell on eBay. So I'm just going to walk you through that entire step-by-step process just so that you have a full understanding of exactly what makes a winning product a winning product. So the first place that I like to start is on the dropshipping suppliers website. So in this example, we're going to be using CJ dropshipping. So what I tend to do when I want to find an item to sell is that I scroll down to this section over here where it says global warehouses. And then from this point, we're going to be able to look at items depending on which warehouse we're going to be shipping from. So in today's example, I'm going to be looking at the items in the US warehouse. So all you need to do is just click into it. And then once you do that, this is the page that you're going to see. And it's going to bring up all of these different items. So all you need to do from this point is try and find a specific item that stands out to you that you believe that you're going to be able to sell successfully. All right. So I found this product right here, which is a Wi-Fi repeater or a signal amplifier. It's basically an item that people buy when it comes to extending the Wi-Fi signal in their house. So it's definitely a useful product. So now that we know that this product is available in the US, US warehouse, the first thing that I'm going to do before I even show you anything else on CJ Dropshipping's product page is to go over to Zeke Analytics. So Zeke Analytics is a product research software that I always advise every single person to sign up with if they want to do product research to find the best winning product to sell on eBay. And if you want to sign up for a seven day trial, you can do that by clicking the link in my description down below. And once you have signed up for that seven day trial, this is the dashboard that you're going to see. And then all you simply need to do is go over to product research right here. And then you're going to type in the name of the item, which is Wi-Fi repeater. And because we're going to be shipping the item to the US, we want to see the data specifically for the customers based in America. So we need to click on United States right there. And we're going to change the eBay site to eBay.com. And then we're going to click on search. And right there, as you guys can see, Zeke Analytics is able to show us that almost $40,000 was spent on this product in the last 30 days. And there's a successful listing rate of 71%, which means that 71% of the sellers that have listed this product have been successful in making a sell. So now that we know that it's definitely a product that's worth dropshipping, we need to go back over to CJ Dropshipping and double check a couple things. So first thing, we want to see the inventory amount. So we can see that there's over 1000 units currently in the United States warehouse, which is a lot. We also want to look at how long it's going to take to reach the customer. And we can see that it's going to take three to seven days. And there's also tracking information available too, which is really, really good. So now that we know that this product ticks all the boxes in terms of us being able to make a sale from the product research, the fact that we can also drop ship it and get it to the customer in a short amount of time. What we want to do now is figure out how we're going to list the product on our eBay store. And to do that, we need to sign up for something called AutoDS. So this is what the sign up page looks like. And if you want to sign up for a 30 day trial with AutoDS, you can use the link in my description down below for that as well. And AutoDS is simply a way of you being able to connect the product from whatever supplier that you want to use directly onto your eBay store. Not only that, you're going to be able to automatically fulfill all of your orders. So it's a really good software to sign up with if you are looking to take your eBay dropshipping business a little bit more serious. So all you simply need to do is enter in your email right here, click on continue. So once you've gone through that whole sign up process, this is the page that you're going to see. And this is the auto DS dashboard. Now, the first thing that you need to make sure that you do is that you need to make sure that you connect your eBay account directly to your auto DS account. And the way that you're going to be able to do that is by clicking on this option right here. 
And as you can see, I've already connected my eBay test account as well as my Shopify test account. So what you're gonna do is click on add store and then you need to click on the eBay store option, then click on continue. Then it's gonna ask you for your PayPal account, which is optional and which country that you're gonna be selling in. So you can leave it at United States or you can change it to whatever you want. And then you're gonna click on connect to store. Then it's gonna show you this page and then all you simply need to do is sign into your eBay account again. eBay is gonna ask you to confirm whether or not you wanna go through with it. And then you can do so if you want to. Once you do that, which is necessary for you to continue you need to go back over to your AutoDS account and what we need to do now is to connect the product from CJ dropshipping over to AutoDS so the way that you're going to do that is by clicking on add products click on single products perfect and then what I need to do now is go back over to CJ dropshipping copy the product that I want to sell on my eBay store go back over to AutoDS and then paste the URL right there Make sure that the supplier source is correct, CJ Dropshipping. Make sure that the region is correct. As you can see, it says China. So I'm gonna change that to United States. And then I'm gonna click on publish the store. And right there, you can see that the draft has been created and the status is now completed. So what we now need to do is head over to our drafts, complete everything, and then list it to our eBay store. And the way that we're gonna do that is by clicking on drafts on the left-hand side over here. And as you can see, this is the product that we just created right there. Now it's gonna give us all of these different headings that we need to go through. So we just need to make sure that the title is what we want it to be on our eBay store in terms of what the customer is gonna see when they're scrolling through eBay. Make sure that the category is correct. Make sure that all of the details here are correct in terms of what you want it to be. Then go over to the description and this is what the customer is actually going to read before they place an order. So you need to make sure that you put the information of the product and we can see that AutoDS does a good job of inserting all of the information from CJ Dropshipping. So we don't really have to do that much. What we can put here is maybe information about the shipping, refunds, about our company. You can add that information into the description section. The next tab is the variant tab. And for now, we're gonna leave these two, the black US and the white US model. So we need to delete these ones by clicking on delete. Okay, next tab is images. So again, AutoDS does a good job of extracting the images from CJ Dropshipping. So you don't have to spend time saving them, downloading them, exporting them, and then uploading them back onto eBay. All of the images has already been uploaded for you. And then finally, you need to head over to item specifics. You just need to add all the item specifics that relate to this item. And you could do that by clicking on this option right here, enter the name, enter the description, and try and add as many item specifics as possible, because this is gonna help when it comes to eBay SEO, which is eBay search engine optimization. And this is gonna help you be seen in the search results when a customer types in a specific keyword. So that's all you simply need to do when it comes to listing a product to your store. And the main benefit of using AutoDS is that you're gonna be able to set up auto fulfillment, which means that you're not gonna have to sit there, copy and paste in your customer's address and name every single time you make an order. You're gonna be able to set up everything in the back end of your AutoDS account so that you could just sit back and let the orders automatically be shipped out on your behalf. So don't forget that if you wanna sign up to AutoDS, make sure that you use the link in my description down below for that 30 day trial. And moving on to the final part of this eBay dropshipping crash course that I'm gonna go through in today's video, which is that you need to make sure that you maintain a healthy account. And I've broken down the four most important things that you need to be aware of when when it comes to making sure that you're running a really good healthy eBay account. The first one is that you need to make sure that you either become an eBay top rated seller and once you become one you also need to make sure that you maintain your eBay top rated seller status. So with this you're going to be able to get so many different benefits. You're going to be able to save money on your monthly eBay fees. You're also going to be able to get pushed to the top of the search results and customers are also going to know that you're one of the top sellers on the platform which means that it's going to lead to more sales. I always like to make sure that I'm a top rated seller with all of my eBay accounts because I know that it's only gonna benefit me when it comes to saving money on my fees and getting pushed higher in the eBay search results. The next thing that you need to make sure that you do is get as many positive reviews as possible. One thing that a lot of people don't realize about eBay is that it's built on a feedback system, which means that it's your job as the seller to make sure that you get as many positive feedbacks as possible. Because if you wasn't aware, you can either get positive feedback, neutral feedback, or negative feedback, and you wanna try to avoid negative feedback at all costs. Because the more negative feedbacks that you build up, you're putting your eBay account at risk of getting closed down. And plus customers won't wanna buy from you. So try and make sure that you get as many positive feedbacks as possible. And one of the ways that you can do that is by making sure that you've got really good customer service. One of the things that I pride myself on with all of my online businesses is that I try to get back to all of my customers within a 24 hour period. And especially on eBay, I like to get back to my customers within an hour. So this is something you need to make sure that you're doing, monitoring your eBay messages as well as your emails. And finally, you need to make sure that you're always trying to find a way to offer 
faster delivery. So the thing about drop shipping is that of course it automatically comes with slower delivery times because you're not shipping out the order yourself so you can't take control of that but you always need to be finding a way to get the order to your customer as quick as possible. Now what most drop shippers do is that they end up importing stock for an item that's selling really well and by doing that they're going to be able to offer one to two day shipping to their customers or what you can do is try and find a drop shipping agent that's going to be able to ship out the orders really really quick but either way you just need to make sure that you're working on different methods of getting the order to your customers very very fast doing those four things is going to help you maintain a really good healthy ebay account and if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to press the like button really helps out the channel in a big way i really appreciate that if you got any value out of the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more content just like this and if you want to sign up to a free webinar where i go through everything i needed to learn when it came to building up one of my first ever e-commerce businesses and getting it to around one thousand dollars profit every single day then click the first link in the description down below or if you rather watch another youtube video that i made maybe three four days ago where i broke down the key things that you need to know if you want to become rich with an ebay business then click the link right there you're definitely going to enjoy that video if you've enjoyed this video all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace